Contrary to what some conspiracy theories assume, you don't really need to implant chips in people's brains in order to control them or to manipulate them. For thousands of years, prophets and poets and politicians have used language and storytelling in order to manipulate and to control people and to reshape society. Now AI is likely to be able to do it. And once it can do that, it doesn't need to send killer robots to shoot us. It can get humans to pull the trigger if it really needs to. AI has just hacked the operating system of human civilization. What we are potentially talking about is nothing less than the end of human history. Now, not the end of history, just the end of the human-dominated part. This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth, and the video that you just saw was of this man here, Yuval Noah Harari, who argues that AI has hacked the operating system of human civilization. He says storytelling computers will change the course of human history, says this historian and philosopher. Now, this man, of course, is the uh, advisor to Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum, and lately he's been going around giving a lot of talks talking about how first of all language dictates the direction that humanity goes uh, being an atheist himself he even openly admits how the bible discusses the, the fact that god spoke the universe into existence it was language itself that started everything well he then goes on to explain how uh, artificial intelligence and the language of ai is now also going to potentially dictate the future direction of humanity and this can lead into a positive direction or very negative direction as well and it seems today ladies and gentlemen that the powers that ought not be are slowly but surely changing the definition of what it is to be a human a man or a woman I mean, just look at this, some of the stuff that we're going to take a look at today. You got a new definition of what a human embryo is. This is being proposed amid so-called rapid scientific advances. Um, we've got terms like mother being replaced by egg producers. <laughs> this is all part of so-called gender affirming language. And to get even crazier, guys, uh, over a year ago, I reported on this. Playing God, world's first synthetic embryos created without sperm or egg or fertilization. Totally the stuff you would think of complete sci-fi movies is now a reality. Researchers have created the world's first synthetic embryos that bypass the need for sperm, eggs, or fertilization. Scientists at the Wiseman Institute in Israel found that stem cells from mice could be made to self-assemble into early embryo-like structures with an intestinal tract, the beginnings of a brain, and even a beating heart. In this video, Dan Dix of Press for Truth questions if it's ethically acceptable to play the role of God by creating life, while also explaining what the only true solution to entropy is. Entropy, of course, being the second law of thermodynamics uh, which explains that uh, everything is slowly decaying and dying uh, which is the opposite of what the theory of evolution would suggest so guys just when you thought this wasn't bad enough today i wanted to show you just how crazy this is getting and i'm almost at a loss for words for this next exclusive coming out here from the daily mail look at this guys leading womb transplant expert says it's now medically possible for transgender women, a.k.a. men, to have natural pregnancies. And they hope to offer this procedure to trans couples in years to come, guys. This is absolutely insane. Doctors pioneering womb transplants believe they are on the cusp of allowing transgender women, men, to give birth to their own children. <laughs> it's so it's unbelievable like you just can't make this stuff up it's so crazy that we're at this place but here we are ladies and gentlemen so i wanted to bring this to your attention guys so we're going to talk about this and much more <laughs>